Welcome back to Pricing Decisions, Topic 5, Alternative Pricing Methods. There are many different types of alternative uh, pricing methods, and the one I want to speak with you about today is called the life cycle costing. This is referred to within a company and is typically uh, encapsulates the timing from product research and development all the way in which the company stops supporting the product. An excellent example of this would be software products. Many software products are developed over a period of several years, released, updated regularly for a number of years, and then eventually the customer support ceases. Lifecycle costing is accompanied by the process of tracking all the actual costs that are attributable to a product from the time R&D starts to the time the product is retired. The Costing categories typically include R&D, product design costs, production or development costs, marketing costs, sales and distribution costs, and after sales service for customer support. Life cycle costing is not a uniform term between all individuals. To some audiences, it has begun to incorporate not only all elements to creating and providing the product to the customer, but also includes costs associated with asset retirement, recycling, and so on. This perspective of life cycle costing is almost certain to grow as companies continue to adopt varying views of what profitability really is, uh, which could include the notion of social costs as well as environmental costs. These are sometimes evaluated by concepts such as the triple bottom line, people, planet, profits. Let's look at a question. Your company is developing a new piece of machinery to be used by industrial customers. The machinery is highly specialized in experimental and will require regular maintenance by company specialists under warranties provided to customers. The company has opted to perform a life cycle costing exercise for the product. Which of the following costs will be included in the life cycle cost of the product? A research and development costs, B, support costs by maintenance specialists after sale, C, sales commissions earned by the salespeople selling the product, or D, all of the above. The answer is D, life cycle costing includes all costs accumulated by offering the product or service to the market until its retirement. As each of the noted costs is a part of the offering of the product to the customer and supporting it until retirement, they are all considered to be relevant costs for the life cycle of this product. Fabulous, fabulous work. Thank you. I, I know that there was a few videos in this series, but hopefully you are enjoying the mini lecture video style. Uh, and I will be sending you uh, some notes and really want your feedback on what you think so far. Thank you so, so very much. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, week. Uh, and yeah, email me. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Maybe tell me, oh, uh, tell me about your favorite dessert that you've had lately. Uh, or uh, if you are anywhere like me, I'm starting to look at my travel list and, you know, start my dream list for some time in the future. Uh, do I want to go someplace hot? Do I want to go someplace scenic? I don't know. Um, but right now I am just uh, enjoying uh, where we are right now um, and having some puppy snuggles. So I hope that wherever you are, wherever you are at, uh, you have something um, that you can think about and that makes you smile. Again, I hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, and we'll talk soon.